Well, hello there! Today, we're talking about space. All objects occupy space. The shape and size of an object can tell how much space it can occupy. A big object occupies a big space. Like these rocks. They occupy a big space. Small object occupies a small space. An example is this bag. It occupies a small space. Do you have a toy box? I have my toy box here. How many toys can you put in your toy box? If your toys are small, you can put many toys in your toy box. If your toys are big, you can put a few of them in it. To know how many toys you can fit in a toy box, we need to measure those objects. To measure those objects, we need to know their volume. What is volume? Volume describes how much space an object occupies. Some objects do not have their own shape. They take the shape of their container. An example is water. Water has no shape. It takes the shape of the container. A big container can occupy a big volume of water. A small container can occupy a small volume of water. Here are the examples of how objects occupy space. You occupy space in your bed when you are sleeping. Air occupies space inside the balloon. To recap our lesson, we talked about space. All objects occupy space. And to measure those objects, we need to know their volume. Volume describes how much space an object occupies. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, this has been Teacher Rona for ClickGen.